are back now with Britain's historic vote to leave the European Union. Donald Trump today on a business trip to Scotland, that's where he was right there, criticizing President Obama's decision to weigh in on Brexit, as you may recall, and we covered it here on this show. Back in April, President Obama urged British voters to remain in the EU, saying there could be major economic consequences if that country would choose to leave. Listen. Our focus is in negotiating with a big bloc of the European Union to get a trade agreement done. And UK is going to be in the back of the queue. There we go. Was that a threat? Well, one big question now. How will the Brexit impact U.S. politics as the November election gets closer? Let's bring in Joe Trippi, a former campaign manager for Howard Dean and a Fox News contributor, and David Avella, the president of GOPAC. Welcome to you both. Uh, Joe, let's start with you. How did so many politicians, so many experts get it so wrong over there on Brexit? Well, I think it's more about the expectations. Clearly, the polling uh, showed and the, and the markets were showing uh, that they thought uh, that uh, the U.K. would remain. Uh, it actually was a very close vote, 51.9. It's not like there was a U. You know, it's the same polarization. There are a lot of similarities. The same polarization that exists in the U.K. certainly exists, I mean, between the two major parties and, and, and political elites uh, exists here in the United States, so too. So, David, uh, if, that, if that's right, David, is that exactly what's happening here? But look, Heather, this is what happens when people believe their government is doing harm to job creation. Over the last five years, Britain's economy has been at about 3% economic growth and at points been down to 1%. Now, bring that across the pond to America. Over the last five years, we have been at 2% economic growth. So if you're the Trump campaign, this morning you're feeling, look, we have a message that is going to connect with voters, and Hillary Clinton has to decide, is a message of control continuing the policies of Barack Obama going to get her elected, particularly in if you look at where the votes came in that uh, allowed Brexit to pass, it was in the northern part, which is where the Labor Party is the most aggressive. It's the Worker Party. And, and that's where we that's the same type of voters Hillary Clinton had. It needs to have is the working class. Those are the folks who voted to leave because of the poor economic growth in Britain. So, Joe, then what does that mean for this upcoming election in November? I don't think it it means a whole lot. Well, I, why look, not? I think they're two because they're two different countries. Uh, uh, of course, we, two we, different countries. But as you pointed yeah. out yourself, there's some very real similarities. Whether it's yeah, there's polar, a, economic there's success, whether it's there, people coming over to take our right. jobs, as some would describe it, and of course, immigration's a huge one. Yeah, no, immigration is a huge one, but immigration here is much different from immigration in the UK. Uh, and, and look, there's there are a lot of similarities. There's nativism, nationalism that's rising in, in a lot of countries around the, the globe, and certainly Donald Trump's tapped into that here in the United States, and there's strong feelings about that, that here too. But in the end, we're a much more diverse country than the UK. And by the way, it was 51.9 to 48. It could we're be more just, divor diverse than than the UK. Heather, oh, here's the I biggest mean, takeaway. Over there would probably yeah. argue otherwise. Well, I mean, the, the big wall is going to help, and we'll let the good ones back in. But the problem still is, and this is part of the, the thing, when, when Trump talks like that here, he's pushing Hispanics away from him. That's a problem here in the United States. They don't, it's, there isn't the same kind of thing there in, in the U.K. where they have full employment and other mm -hmm. things. And by the way, on the economics, the facts are true. Britain is going to suffer economically in the short term. Might be great for them long term but short term they could go into a recession over this jobs could be lost okay and that's going to have an impact back here in the United States as David, people see let me those kind of economic results all right uh, David let me ask you about this so President Obama went over there and he campaigned in favor of staying he was pretty popular among some young voters who tended to to support staying in the European Union did President Obama hurt the cause over there I mean I'm just trying to imagine that scenario here in the United States if some foreign leader came to the United States and told us how we should vote I imagine there'd be a huge backlash here. What was the Obama effect, if anything? Well, you're getting to the probably the biggest point of all this. When President Obama endorses you, you're probably going to lose. <laughs> Go back and look through the last couple election cycles, uh, minus his own elections. When he gets behind someone, they lose. But David, and I, so I believe he's Hillary more popular Clinton, over there than he is over here. <laughs> Well, that's probably even worse for, for Hillary Clinton than to take his endorsement and say, look, I'm going to continue doing the things Barack Obama's been doing, because the reality is uh, America has decided it's time to move on from the policies of the last seven years. 
And getting back to my first point, our economy is in many ways in worse shape on economic growth perspective than Britain's was. Voters are looking for a change. Hillary Clinton represents keeping it the same. Donald Trump talks about going in a different direction. All right. Uh, Joe? I think, look, I think Barack Obama's approval rating in the United States right now rivals Ronald Reagan's at the end of his Joe, term. Joe, why does when, he keep, why do his elected, candidates keep losing? When, when we, you know, look, hey, those are great talking points, and you should continue to parrot They're them. Facts. The fact is, yeah, the fact is he has, the, he has his, his approval rating is as high as Ronald Reagan's was at the end of, higher than his, at, at the end of his term that led to George Herbert Walker Bush being elected for, you know, right, in, in that, that race. So so how you calculate that is, oh, if he supports Hillary Clinton, uh, there's no Republicans rallying around uh, Donald Trump at this point. He hasn't gotten uh, the well, speaker. Well, he's got millions no, of people supporting him. No uh, Republicans. Joe Trippi, David Avella, we're going to have to leave it there, <laughs> yeah. guys. Uh, thanks so much, and we'll see what the impact, if any, is in the November election as we continue to follow Brexit throughout the day. Thank you.